Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in today's thumbnail. And if you did click it, then that means you are interested in, you know, finding out a little bit more about these Beast Mode fragrances that I wanna to bring to you in today's video. These fragrances that can handle any weather below zero and plus, but then you're wondering, didn't you just do a video not long ago about that? I sure did. And if you wanna find out why we're having a second edition, then stay tuned. But if this is your first time here, as usual, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking in today's video. My name is Moraima. In this channel, I share some of my passions, such as fragrance, self-care, and decor. The Scented Tribe is a fun tribe. So if you are interested in joining a community that is super positive and we're constantly on a weekly basis sharing videos, then consider subscribing. For my returning subscribers, mwah, big kiss. I hope everyone is having an incredible week. I hope that you are ready for these Beast Mode fragrances. And as I said on the intro, I just did a video about this. So what this is all about. So this is what happened. So as I'm editing the video, I'm thinking, you know what? You forgot this fragrance and this fragrance and this fragrance. And okay, some of these fragrances are full-size bottles and other fragrances I'm testing or I have decants. So I've had a good amount of time to play with them. So I said, you know what, let me just add them to the video. But then it was so much that I was like, no, scratch all that. I'm just gonna publish the video the way it is and I'm just gonna give you guys one more video because why not? So we have new fragrances that have nothing to do with the first video. And if you have not seen it, here is the thumbnail and the card above so that you can check it out. The first installment of this video today, I have other fragrances that are equally as incredible and beast mode. Let's just dive right into it. So these fragrances are not gonna be in any particular order and I'm gonna try as much as I can to just breeze through them because a lot of these fragrances you either have heard from them or I've already reviewed them on my channel. I just wanna make sure that the weather, the season doesn't go by and I don't mention them because I feel that they behave and perform ideal in the cooler weather. So the order is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna first start with the ones that I don't have a full size bottle yet and the other ones are coming a little bit later. So the first one that I wanna share with you is Mancera Instant Crush. This was so popular last year. It was every channel was talking about it and for a good reason. So this was often compared to Baccarat Rouge 540 from MFK. It has a little bit of a DNA. Let me just spray it, it's a little bit better. And this fragrance, let me just tell you, it smells way better because I got this decant in the summertime. You know, a lot of people were talking about, I was trying to see which dupe was the best dupe for Baccarat Rouge. And you know, at some point I just put it in the back of my drawer, I forgot about it. And now that it was the winter time and I was trying to find all of these Beast Mode fragrances, I smelled it again and it smells a little bit different than what I smelled in the summertime. I feel like it smells better and that is because this fragrance has a little bit of notes that lean a little bit more masculine than the real regular Baccarat Rouge 540 but still has a beautiful beautiful fragrance and this is the type of fragrance that is going to announce you before you get there. This is definitely unisex so men and women can equally wear it but I would love to smell this on a man. I feel like it's a beautiful fragrance that is sexy and different enough and affordable enough to be within still within the designer price range that you can find if you get it at a discounter store. But this is really, really nice. So it's an amber floral, but it has a lot of woodsy tones and it has, you know, the typical saffron and ginger and a little bit of citrus at the top. It's a very alluring fragrance. It definitely makes you want to smell more. It makes you want to get a little bit closer. It has rose and jasmine and vanilla and it has sandalwood. So it's a really, really good overall fragrance. And I understand why it was so popular last year. I mean, everyone had a bottle and that's why I actually got a decan because I'm like, you know, I'm like this close of getting a bottle. It seems like it's a fragrance that I would really enjoy. But after having all of the other fragrances that I have and having both BR540, you know, I said, you know what? I don't necessarily need to have another dupe. One of the things I'm trying to do in my collection is to have the least amount of fragrance profiles that are alike because then I'm going to feel that I have just a collection of dupes of each other and not necessarily a larger, um, a larger amount of scent profiles. But let's talk about the performance. Obviously, this is a Beast Mode fragrance video after all. This fragrance, like I said, announces you before you get there. People can smell you from across the street. If you spray the way you would regularly spray with, you know, five, six, seven, and maybe, you know, if you're an overspray, you're 10 sprays or more, then you're definitely potentially choking people. So just be careful. But the fact that it's so strong, this is why it plays so well in the winter cooler days. Because when those freezing temperatures below zero just hit you, this fragrance is just like, 
what do you got? You know, I can hang, I can actually continue to perform and be smelled by a lot of people. So this is one of the fragrances that I feel is really, really good. I didn't add a full bottle to my collection, like I said, because of the fact that I have so many other Baccarat Rouge 540 smell alike type of fragrances. Plus I have the OG, so I don't really need it, but man, oh man, it's really good. And I really feel that although it's unisex, a man would smell sexier on this than a woman. I love it. I think it's great. When I tried it in the cold, to me, it was at least 12 hours performance. This one is a beast. Mancera Instant Crush. The next one is another one that I'm still in the testing phase, but let me just tell you, it's, it's leaning towards it's going to be a yes. And this is Absolute Aphrodisiac by the House of Inicio Parfum. Guys, this is a beautiful amber spicy that has incredible performance. I've, I've only used, I don't know if you can see, let me see if it shows over here. I've only used probably like five, but not even like five, four mLs. And let me just tell you, this was three or four wears and didn't need more than just like a couple of sprays. It's incredible. This is vanilla and leather and woodsy. It's very sexy, but it's also powdery and musky. So good, so good. I was a little bit scared because it has the note of castorium. And as you know, I don't like any animalic notes and leather to me is also another note that I have a little bit of a hard time. I prefer suede, but this is so well blended. There's a little touch of medicinal in this fragrance, but in a good way. It's definitely a little bit more cocooning than making you feel sick or like you just stepped out of a hospital. It's a very balsamic feel that brings to the fragrance. And I'm telling you, the vanilla in here, it has vanilla, it has amber, but it's super well branded and absolute aphrodisiac. I mean, just imagine the name is just, <laughs> you just want to smell it just because of the name. Now let's talk performance. Performance was incredible. Again, when I tried this fragrance, all of these fragrances I've tried in the winter time because there were fragrances that I knew that they were not for the summertime. And already we are in the minus 30, minus 25 weather here in Canada. So it is no joke cold. And this was performing like a beast. You know, 10 hours for sure. This is also a unisex fragrance. I feel like it leans more masculine, but the vanilla and the amber is so sweet and beautiful that I don't feel masculine wearing this whatsoever. Now, when I had to decide between this one and side effect, obviously, you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I have a full bottle of side effect, side effect one, but houses have a particular DNA. So Initials Parfum, a lot of their fragrances are going to more or less have a similar DNA for all of their heavy hitters. And it was between this one and side effect. And to me, side effect was just way better, but this is really not bad at all. Yes, I absolutely love it. So to me, I would appreciate this more on a man, even though this is 100% unisex, I would feel that it's a little bit more appropriate to a man. And like I said, the performance, incredible. So no need to carry around a decan. I think that this fragrance, you wear it or you put it in your car and you're out and about and it's going to perform like crazy all night long. Definitely a lot more of a dressy fragrance. It's not going to be, you're not going to go to the gym in this, right? This is a, I want to make an impression type of fragrance. It's a prestigious house. So definitely you're going to use this fragrance when it's going to be like an event or you want to make an impression. I can't stop smelling it. I'm telling you, this is so addictive. This is good, good, but definitely a beast. Once again, absolute aphrodisiac by the house of Inicio Parfum. The next fragrance is another fragrance that has been called or named by many here on the platform, the king of all beast mode fragrances, because it was also extremely, extremely popular last year. So also from the house of Inicio Parfum, we have Oud for Greatness. Guys, this was another fragrance when I was, you know, marinating between the Mancera Instant Crush, Oud for Greatness, you know, what other fragrances were going to be like a full blown, because it's also compared to Baccarat Rouge 540. So I was like, well, I need to smell it. I need to see what this is all about. But obviously, you know, it didn't make it just yet as a full bottle in my connection. This is super, to me, this is like the male version of Baccarat Rouge 540. It's another fragrance that although fully unisex and a lot of women wear it, to me, it leans a little bit more masculine. To me, again, I smell it and wow, like I imagine the most 
impactful presence of a man well dressed whether it is a leather jacket t-shirt jeans but you know upscale casual or suit either or like this fragrance can morph oh it's so good this is spicy it has patchouli it has lavender but obviously it has oud and it has saffron so very middle eastern but at the same time super sophisticated and obviously the performance is out of this world this fragrance is loud like really really loud which means that you don't need to spray a lot in case it's way 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 too loud just a few little sprays and the bottle is gonna last you forever this is a very pricey fragrance but at the same time wow it's so smooth even though it has stronger ingredients it's smooth enough that a woman can wear it it doesn't feel like you can pick up one note over another it's just smooth it's really well blended so like i said it has saffron it has nutmeg it has musk it has patchouli and it also obviously has oud so it's a beautiful aromatic version of what baccarat rouge would be so it's a very touch it's just a saffron that i think gives it that little bit of a hint but as this starts to dry down, that impression of Baccarat kind of like goes away. Absolutely love it. This is a beautiful, classy, impactful, super, like this says presence. This says I'm here. And I feel that men would enjoy this a lot. Women do. I know a lot of women that love, love this fragrance. On me, I don't feel my most feminine but at the same time i had to try it because it was just so so popular the performance on this like 14 hours like my clothing if i don't wash it it's gonna smell and still project as if i had a regular perfume that i sprayed a couple of hours ago the performance on this fragrance is incredible i never thought a fragrance could actually last so long like to me it, it was impossible but obviously there are fragrances that can actually make it and Inicio Oud for Greatness is definitely one of them the very last one that the house just launched which is Oud for Happiness this is Oud for Greatness Oud for, for Happiness I'll put a bottle over here over here is my favorite I got the opportunity to smell it and that one is definitely on my wish list. I absolutely love that one. I feel more identified with Oud for Happiness than Oud for Greatness. But this is a gem. This is a beautiful fragrance that I think any man that has a beautiful arsenal or that would want to have that special fragrance that just makes him stand out Oud for Greatness is definitely a good, good contender. So once again, you know, not much to say. Incredible fragrance, incredible performance, a scent profile that is super unique and it has incredible presence. Very, very sexy. And, you know, it's one that you're definitely going to stand out. Once again, this was Oud for Greatness by the House of Inicio Parfum. The next fragrance is another fragrance that has been super popular on the platform. And I have been very much in the debate of getting it because I'm debating between two Oud Roses fragrances and I still don't know which one I want to incorporate in my collection just yet. But this one, I do have a decan. I've actually... I bought two decants right over here. This is Lancome Oud Bouquet. I know you've heard about it a lot. This is another one that works incredible. It can handle the cold weathers like a beast. Obviously, a lot of people have reviewed it on the platform and you know about this fragrance and the hype is real. It's a beautiful Oud Rose. It definitely has incredible performance. This was like my first dabbing into Oud. Lancome Oud Bouquet and Delina Exclusive were the two first attempts for me to see if I could like Oud in, on me, on my skin, and how they would perform. And they were really, really good experiences. After that, I've smelled some that uh, did not go so well, but others that definitely have worked really, really well. The ones I've previously mentioned were great, but Oud Bouquet is such an incredible rose that just... It has, it's it's that girl, you know, Oud Bouquet is that girl. I'm gonna have to actually do some maneuver over here because I don't know who would make the, the actual decans I got. They did not come with actual sprayers. So I had to just, you know, spray it, like just pour it over here. It's such a beautiful amber vanilla. And obviously we know it has rose and it has Oud and it has vanilla, but it's such a smooth composition. It's spicy, but it, there's a creaminess about it. There's a lactonic aspect about it. And not very predominant. It's more creamy than lactonic. 
it's just very very smooth so this one has um let me just see real quick it has oud praline it has vanilla it has rose and it has saffron so now obviously as you dive a little bit more deep into the middle eastern type fragrances you start falling in love with saffron and the combination of rose and oud and saffron it's just it's sexy, it's classy, it's pungent, it's just like it, it can handle the cool weathers, it can handle the freezing temperatures that, you know, us in the up north, I call it the mini north pole, you know, we have to deal with. This is gorgeous and it reminds me a little bit of a fragrance that I spoke about on my channel a little while ago. I believe you've seen, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it down below. It's Irene Musk, Amber Musk Dog, it's a long name and it has that super expensive a little bit leathery but very confident rose oud maybe a touch of leather in there it's a very classy fragrance it's a rich it's a money fragrance and this is how you feel a little bit with uh, oud bouquet from Lancôme this is a gorgeous fragrance and I keep on hearing in and out that it could be discontinued, that it might be discontinued, that they're changing the bottles. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely on the outlook. If I find a bottle at a good price, I'm probably going to add it to my collection, even though I feel that the one, the fragrance I'm going to speak about next, which is, you know, the one that is making me feel, should I get this one or should I get the other one? You know, I feel like I like the next one better, but at the same time, I don't want to miss out on this one. So, you know, FOMO, <laughs> don't we all go through that? I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm able to get my hands on a bottle before if it is discontinued that is out because it's a really good fragrance. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So once again, this was Lancôme Oud Bouquet, another beast mode, eight hours, 10 hours. It will definitely last on your clothing until you wash it again. You can rely on this fragrance to stay with you at all times, even on the cooler days. And so you're probably curious to know what is the fragrance that is making me debate between Oud Bouquet and this particular fragrance? Like, why am I debating, you know, such an incredible fragrance? Well, it's a tough contender. And this one, as you can see, I haven't bought it because I have all kinds of samples and, you know, I am really giving it a good test before I invest in this fragrance. And obviously you must be knowing already that the one I'm referring to is Oud Satin Mood by MFK. Oh, guys, this fragrance, this is another rose oud fragrance. That is just incredible and it has performance like no other. Let me just spray it here. This fragrance is incredible. I would have never thought in a million years that I would be into oud and I would be into deep, incredibly like loud fragrances. Fragrances today in 2022 are very different from what our parents used to wear back in the 80s and 90s. Like this is a lot more sophisticated and refined. The skill has become a lot more refined. So it allows us to push the envelope a little bit more. This is a beautiful oud rose fragrance that has incredible projection and incredible longevity. It can play in the winter time. And as a matter of fact, it can only play in the winter time. I would never wear this in the dead heat of summer, like ever. So this is a fragrance as, as well as uh, pretty much everything else that I'm mentioning here in this video today. These fragrances are not designed to be cooked in the heat. These fragrances shine when the temperatures are really, really low and they're able to just be regulated by the cooler weather. So it definitely makes a huge difference when you wear these type of super beast mode fragrances never I would dare to wear them personally you know everyone can do what they want but personally I wouldn't wear them in the dead heat of summer this is oud rose vanilla and powdery goodness like it is just so sophisticated so sophisticated and as I showed you I've had plenty of time to just play with this fragrance and really know if it's worth the investment because we're talking I think here in Canadian dollars is either a little bit over $500 <sighs> It's quite, you know, a price, but oh my goodness. This is what I call a fragrance that would leave a beautiful, memorable impression. So if you are looking for a fragrance that you know is going to be very timeless, but at the same time has a depth and it has a projection, and you have been just looking at this fragrance, 
I say don't blind buy it. This is not anything at that price. You shouldn't be blind buying it unless you like you have it like that. You know, if finances are not an issue, then definitely you can definitely try to, you know, blind buy it if you don't have a counter near you where you can actually smell it. But this is why I feel it's so great. Like you can go to Maison Francis Collagen and buy fragrances in samples from anything that they have. And it's super affordable. The delivery is great. And the amount of money that it costs you for the actual scents, I think it's like uh, $25 for like five uh, samples. It's incredible. You can use that money towards the bottle that you're going to finally purchase. And it's just, I think it's a great deal. So I was able to try a ton from the house. I wanted to smell everything. Even though I have a counter, I want to have the actual fragrance, multiple of them that I can wear and wear and wear and, and really test it. Because when you go to a store, you don't, you don't really test it. Anyways, this fragrance, again, it has Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, it has vanilla, it has oud, it has violet, and it has benzoin. It's gorgeous. This is classy, this is evening, this is seductive, this is a fragrance that you wear when you want to make an impression and it's super cold outside and you're probably wearing that, you know, leather jacket or full leather jacket with, you know, a little bit of a... You know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to try to put, I, I work with photos. You guys know, if you've been watching my channels, I work with showing you a little bit of an idea, a photo of what this girl looks like when she's wearing this. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it so, so much. I cannot wait to add this to my collection. I'm a big fan of Francis Cordejean. He is an incredible perfumer. He blends like no other. And this oud is creamy and smooth and just super sexy. And satin mood is definitely a very good representation of how you feel. Satin is sexy to me. It's very feminine. But at the same time, mood, it's like, there's it's a mood. It's a vibe. This fragrance, it's a vibe, it's a mood. It's definitely, you know, the type of fragrance that you want to have. You want to send a message without sending a message, if you know what I mean. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Once again, with all my samples, this was an incredible fragrance that lasted a long, long time on me when I tried it. Over 12 hours on my skin and my clothing until I washed it. Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Cartagena. I know we've been speaking about fragrances that are super out there, very much nighttime, classy, dressy, and all of that, but we're gonna roll it back in a little bit and we're going to talk about fragrances that are a little bit more suited for the day to day, you know, for something a little bit more casual, but still have incredible performance in the cooler days and below freezing temperatures. And this next baby is another one that I just added to my collection not long ago, and I am just in love in love in love in love with it and it has incredible performance and this one is milk by commodity guys this house they relaunched and they came in with a bang I did not get an opportunity to smell the brand prior to being rebranded under the new owners so I don't know what they used to smell like but when I see people reviewing the newer launches versus the older launches the reaction is a little bit different and oh, guys this is an amber woody, but it's very, very cocooning. It's very creamy. It has incredible performance. Let me just spray it. Obviously, it's super creamy with a name Milk. What else would you expect? It's electronic, but it's woody. It has oh, just such an incredible enveloping. If you haven't seen my review about this fragrance, I'm going to put it over here up in the card and link it down below. Oh, guys. This fragrance is like the next level of This Is Her from Zadig and Voltaire. This is just incredible. And the performance on this fragrance is incredible. I put it on like at noon and it's like 10 o'clock at night and it's still kicking strong and it can handle the cool weathers outside. I can go and do all my errands and I'm still smelling the fragrance. If I can smell it, I know other people can smell it. I love it. So obviously the notes in here, we're talking milk, natural musk, marshmallow. It has mahogany wood and it has tonka bean. So super, super yummy. It's almost vanilla-y, but it's sweet. It's milky. It's like tonic. It's cocooning, but with incredible production. And if you're wondering, this is the uh, expressive space. Um, I know that, you know, these fragrances go with levels. So this is like the middle one, not the strongest one. So I can just imagine what the bold smells like. If this is beast, like beast, I don't know what bold smells like. It would be, 
<laughs> a crime to smell that. Like I would want to smell like this every day. This is like, you know, like this big sweater. Like I feel like this is ideal to wear this fragrance for you're going up north on a cabin and you're going to ski and you're going to be doing outdoors activities in the snow or you're going to go ice skating or you're going to go just shopping around or eating with friends, you know, and you want that fragrance that makes you feel like, you know, like you're hugged. But it's also pretty. It's also sexy. It has a sex appeal, although it's lactonic. I love it, but I can definitely guarantee that this fragrance is going to last quite some time on you. So once again, this was Milk by the House of Commodity. Okay, we gotta speed it up because we have just a few more fragrances, but I have been trying. It has been in my mental note that I want our videos to be a little bit shorter. Let me know in the comments below, what do you prefer? Do you prefer longer videos? Do you prefer when I try to explain to you as much in detail as possible what you can find in a fragrance or do you like videos to just be chop chop a little bit about the fragrance and next fragrance we go because I am always torn between what do people want. I'm here to make videos that you are going to enjoy. So please, please, please let me know in the comments below if you like the shorter videos or the longer videos, like usually what's around the time frame that you like so that I know better how to serve you better. The next fragrance is a ship floral that although it's technically out of the market, I know that if you dig online, you're able to still find it, which is why I included it in this video. And I feel that this fragrance can definitely also play in the cooler days and not only play it actually performs really really well and this one is Armani C Le Parfum so not to be confused with the intense version which I feel that can actually play really really good on the winter but I gotta stop talking about it because you guys know that I don't shut up about it but the actual Le Parfum which is I think it was a special edition you can still find it online in different places and because it has an incense note it definitely allows this fragrance to be a little bit more winter conducive rather than summertime this is one that I would not wear in the summertime and because of that it had to be in this list even though it's not super easy to find I know that some people have already gotten their hands on it but you know, on my, on my skin, when I tried it, it performed really well in the winter time. And I was like, you know what, let's just include it. And if people can find it online, that definitely they're going to feel a little bit more confident that this fragrance is a beast mode. So let's give it a spray. I love the color of this juice. It's just this one I actually had to spray because I hadn't worn it in a little while. You see, this is the thing when you start, you can have a lot of really good fragrances, but as soon as your collection starts to get really large, it's kind of hard to go around, you know? It's kind of hard to really, you know, be able to wear everything that you have in a way that, you know, you can get good use of it. I don't, don't ever think that I'm going to finish a bottle of perfume because I just have too many that I wouldn't be able to, you know, unless I just focus on one. But back to this. So this is definitely the older sister of Armani C Intense 2021 edition. So if you wanted something a little bit more dressy, a little bit more evening, a little bit more classy and upscale than Armani C Intense 2021 with really good performance and can handle the cool weather, Armani C Le Parfum definitely is a good contender. It also obviously has a black current at the top because, you know, it wouldn't be an Armani C. It has a black current, so very similar to the Intense 2021. But in the middle, it has incense, osmanthus, jasmine, and on the base, amber, vanilla. It has patchouli, but uh, it's an incredible combination, guys. This smells more like a niche version of Armani C than an actual designer. This is very upscale and it works really, really well in the cooler days and I absolutely love it. So if you like the Armani C Intense 2021, I know a ton of people discovered it because of my videos or you've shared it with me on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, check it out, please. We have a lot of fun over there. I do a lot of reels and a lot of fun and a lot of different things that I don't share here on YouTube. So please follow me. Go say hello. You can DM me. I'm super approachable. Absolutely no shame there. If you have a question, any perfume that, you know, I didn't explain something or you want to know where to buy it, let me know and I'll send you a link it's my pleasure to help out that's what I'm here for anyways back to this if the Armani C intense a lot of people bought it and they gave me the feedback and they were in love they really felt the way I did so to all of you that you are watching if you like that one you're gonna really like this one because this is like the super rich version of Armani C intense 2021 
I absolutely love it. When I wore it out, I was only able so far to wear it one time because I got it this year and winter obviously just started and I'm just doing my rounds, you know, I'm doing my rounds of all the perfumes that I can wear during the winter time. I don't go out that much. So obviously the opportunities that I have to test them is a little bit less, but I was able to try it one time and it lasted all day. And when I say all day, I'm talking over eight hours. So to me, that's a good amount of time because I'm never out more than eight, 10 hours at a time. It was great. If I would wear this in, let's say, style little black dress, I'm going on a date because it's definitely suited for daytime. Not daytime, but date time. <laughs> You know, um, I think you would feel that it's going to last on your skin and on your clothing a lot longer and you're going to be able to feel like you don't need to reapply too often unless you want to have like incredible projection. I think this fragrance has better performance than projection. This is not oud for greatness. Like this is not a fragrance that arrives 10 minutes before you get there. This is a fragrance that stays with you a long time. It has really good performance in terms of the longevity. The projection, not so much. And maybe it's because I didn't spray that much. I have this thing that sometimes fragrances when they are super beast mode, like I go easier on the trigger. Does anyone else does that? <laughs> like I feel that if I over do it then I'm stuck you know because it's a commitment once you're out and about and you're choking yourself it's gonna be there for quite some time that's why you know we pay for the performance but anyways our money si le parfum is a sure sure thing to last really really good on super cold weather and I absolutely love it so once again our money si le parfum all right guys so this is the last one however I have a special mention so don't go anywhere because after this one I have a special mention that I have to just say because I feel that although it's very recent that I added it to my collection it works really well in the winter time but anyways back to this next one what is up with me in this tangents today anyways next fragrance is another oud fragrance that is just the epitome of extreme sophistication and this one is amber oud by Roja Parfum guys if you've seen my Instagram or you've seen my review for this fragrance, you know how in love I am with this bottle. But let's talk about the juice. That's what's important. I have to say, out of all of the ouds that I have, this is the one that is a little bit more present. So if you really like oud, you're gonna feel a little bit more identified with this fragrance. You can smell the high quality oud that was used in this fragrance and you can smell that the ingredients are very natural. They're very close to, like they're close to the nozzle. Like I smell the fragrance and I feel like I'm smelling the ingredients out of like a bowl. It has an incredible combination of rose and oud, but it's not extremely sweet, making it a little bit more unisex. So if oud satin mood was too sweet for you, or obviously Lancome oud bouquet was too sweet for you, then definitely amber oud is going to be your rose oud combination option of choice because the oud and the rose in this fragrance is outstanding. It's really, really good. I mean, rose à parfum, you know, it's class, it's sophistication. It's definitely high quality. This fragrance has so much to offer and it has so many notes that you wouldn't think you would find in an oud fragrance. For example, you know, it opens with a lot of citrus. I'm going to put the notes over here, but it opens with a lot of citrus. But in the midst, it has rose, it has figs, it has ylang ylang and jasmine. So a beautiful composition of flowers and exotic fruits. And then we get into the oud and the saffron and oh my god. And it has sandalwood and it has patchouli. It's a beautiful, sophisticated, super rich fragrance. So out of all of the ones that I have, this is definitely the most oody. And this is definitely the one that I would feel that it, I absolutely have to wear it when it's extremely cold because the cool weather is going to tone down how that oud develops on your skin. So this definitely shines better in the cooler days as we know. Any oud is going to shine better in the cooler days, but the composition, it is just incredible. So this is definitely going to be your beast mode fragrance that you're going to wear for a special occasion, obviously. Just with the bottle, you can tell that this is not a going to the gym fragrance. You're not going to grab a quick burger, you know, at two o'clock in the afternoon with this fragrance. This is a fragrance that is a little bit more upscale, is very elevated. It has incredible performance. It's going to last all night long. I find that projection is really good. The sillage is really good, but the longevity is where I feel this fragrance definitely shines. 
and I love it. It's to me, it's my little piece of extreme class in my collection. And I am dying to get to know the brand a little bit deeper to get to know more about the brand. And this one is just incredible. It has really good performance for the cooler days. So it's almost a guarantee that you are going to enjoy it. Once again, this was Amber Aoud by the house of Roja Parfum. And the special mention that I wanted to include in this list is Montgarlin Intense. This is recent in my collection, but I feel that this fragrance has done really, really good in the cooler days for me. Like I said, guys, it's like minus 25 out there. And when I wear this fragrance, it doesn't disappear on me. It stays, I can smell it. Guys, this is so, so good. This fragrance is super popular. So I'm not gonna get too much into the notes because you've heard it a million times. This is a beautiful lavender scent with a beautiful note of vanilla. And it has, I believe, Madagascar vanilla and Tahitian vanilla. So double dosage of vanilla and it's just gorgeous. It has white musk and it has sandalwood making it super creamy. But anyways, I've worn it outside, minus 25 and it can hang. It could definitely last at least eight hours. All day, I've done all my errands. I can still smell myself. I don't feel like it just went away. I don't know if the OG has the same performance, but this one definitely does. It's not an incredible projector, but I can smell myself for at least eight hours of time. So this was just a little quick daytime, you know, a little bit more casual office appropriate type of um, special mention that I wanted to add to the collection. And once again, this was Mon Garlin Intense Eau de Parfum by Garlin. So this was the second installment of the Beast Mode fragrances that you can enjoy in cool weathers that are going to perform incredible. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the first one, I'm gonna put the link over here, the little picture and the link below, the link on the eye everywhere so you can find it go check it out let me know your thoughts if there's anything that i have not mentioned please let me know i would love to see if i can add it to my wish list and see if i can potentially add it to my collection if you have any of these fragrances share your thoughts let me know how you feel do they behave the same way on you do they perform really really well and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be the first in to know when we post our next video. Thank you so much for joining me in this week's video and until the next time, big kiss, bye-bye.